six uh, micro FRQ. Number three, mostly supply and demand, but also a little um, externality question here. Um, the supply and demand for land for residential development is shown in the diagram above. The land supplied for such development comes from privately held open space land or privately held farmland. Redraw the graph above and show how an increase in income will affect the price and quantity of land converted. Assume the land for residential development is a normal good. So if income goes up, we could assume that the demand for residential developed land would increase. So this is the quantity of residential developed land. I spelled it wrong, don't worry about it. Demand increases because income goes up. We know income is a determinant of demand. Income goes up, uh, demand has to increase. So we could see that as demand increases, we know the price of residential developed land and the quantity would therefore increase. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, so A there, easy enough. Let's look at B. Redraw the graph above and show how a decrease in government per unit subsidies to farmers will affect the equilibrium price and quantity again, of quantity of land converted into residential development. So, quantity of residential developed land, price. Uh, let's understand that a government per unit subsidies, if they decrease, if subsidies to farmers decrease, that implies that there's going to be less farmers. They're not getting subsidies, so some of those that are on the margin are going to go broke. So if there's less subsidies going to farmers, some of those farmers are going to sell their land and convert it into residential developed land. So I think we're talking about as farmers sell their land, they're going to supply it or sell it to people, to developers. They'll be more on the market. Therefore, the price will go down, but the quantity would increase. P1 here, P2. All right. Let's look at C. Assume the conversion of open space land and farmland imposes costs on the general population. This is a negative cost, implied negative externality, which can no longer enjoy the scenic vistas. Indicate whether the marginal social cost of converting land is greater than less than or equal to the marginal private cost of converting land. So we should know how to just draw. First of all, it's a cost. Um, we know it's negative. It is the, they don't talk about whether it's production, but we know it's, our, so we have two cost curves. Social cost and private cost is what we're looking at. We could simply do our two curves. We also know that it's a negative, so we know our dead weight loss triangle is going to point to the left because it's negative. We also know our dead weight loss triangle points to the curve. This is our marginal social or social. Again, the dead weight loss triangle points to the left if it's negative, and the dead weight loss triangle points to society. That's how I remember these. Is this is the societal curve or the marginal social cost, whereas this is the marginal personal cost. So in essence, in this situation, we know it's a negative externality. Uh, because the marginal social cost is greater than the marginal personal cost. Indicate whether the marginal is greater than, it is greater than the marginal private cost. Where private cost and marginal private benefits come together, that's the market price and quantity. So that's the price of the market, that's the quantity of the market. There's no problem with the consumption of this externality. So this is also marginal social benefit. Um, price quantity, this would be our optimal quantity or socially optimal quantity that society wants. This is the quantity that the market provides, price of the market here. Um, 
explain whether the private market quantity of land is socially optimal. Well, we can see here where the private market quantity of land um, of land converted. In essence, the market always overproduces a negative. In this situation, there's too much land being uh, uh, converted. We could see that our marginal social cost is higher than the marginal social benefit. We would like our social cost and social benefit to meet right here, but at this quantity, can we see we've got this huge amount of deadweight loss? That line right there represents our vertical distance of deadweight loss. So the social cost is greater than where our social benefit is, right? Here's our social benefit. Here's our social cost. We would like them to meet right there. Um, they don't. In essence, I guess we could just say again, marginal social cost is greater than marginal social benefit. Um, there's too much of this converting land going on. It is not socially optimal. All right, guys, be safe. Take care.